going on everyone so today we're looking at lead code number 21 it's called merge two sorted lists it lists it as an easy problem but I would I would disagree a little bit I think this is definitely a medium problem it, it is a little bit tricky uh, but however we'll we'll work through it step by step okay so let's take a look at the prompt here we have two sorted link lists and we want to return it as a single sorted list uh, the list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. Okay, so here we have a, a list of 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, and we want 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Okay, we could also get two empty lists, then we're just going to return an empty list, and we could have an empty list and zero, and we return zero. Um, the number of nodes in both lists is in the range of zero to 50 and the value of the nodes can be minus 100 to 100. Okay, both L1 and L2 are sorted in non-decreasing order. Okay, and you can see this is very frequently asked, especially at Amazon. In the last six months, it's been asked 53 times. So it's a good one to know. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at this problem uh, a little bit more in depth. So here we have two lists of one, two, and four, and we're gonna have another list of one, let's see here, we have one, three, and four. One, three, and four. Okay, so how do we want to go about solving this, okay? Um, one way to think about this is uh, what we could do is we will obviously want to create pointers okay we want to have some sort of running pointer that's keeping track of of where the list is at and and it's comparing list one and list two so we can definitely assume that we're going to have a pointer at list one and the head of list two okay and as we go through these lists we need to check is list one less than or equal to list two? If it is, then we need the pointers to move accordingly. So anytime we're dealing with addition or subtraction of a node, we want to think of using a dummy node, a dummy node that comes before, and that way we can keep track of our previous value. Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a dummy node okay and we'll just set it to we can set it to anything but I'll just set it to minus infinity okay this will be our dummy node and we'll save that in a variable we're gonna also create a variable called previous and that's gonna point to this dummy node okay now let's kind of walk through how we're gonna traverse through this list when while we have a value in list one and list two we can do a comparison if list one goes out of the range then all we have to do is just take whatever's remaining in list two and attach it to our running list okay same thing with list two if list two ends up going to null then we just take whatever's in our running list and attach it to list two okay so what we can say is that while list one and list two is there is a value there there is a node there then we continue on doing some operation okay so first thing we want to check is is the val what is the value is list one less than or equal to list two it is so what do we want to do with this previous we can point this previous over here to list one okay then we can go ahead and move our previous over to where list one is and we can increment our list one. Okay, so that's the first move we're gonna make. Now, we're gonna check, is list one less than list two? No, it's not. List one is two, list one, or list one is two, and list two is one. Okay, the value for list one is two, and the value for list two is one. Okay, so what do we wanna do? We want to do something just like we did in the previous iteration. We want to break this pointer that previous is pointing at 
to 2, and we want to point it to the lesser value. Okay? And then what do we want to do? We want to move our previous over to list 2, and we want to increment our list 2. Okay, let's continue on. So now we want to check again. Is list 1, the value of list 1, less than the value of list 2? It is. List 1 is 2. List 2 is 3. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and say previous.next. Right now it's pointing to 3. We want to break this, and we want to say previous.next is going to equal list 1. Okay, now previous is going to equal list 1. We're going to increment previous, and then list 1 is going to equal list1.next. Okay, let's continue on. Now we ask, okay, is list 1 less than list 2? Less than or equal to list 2? It's not. List 1 is 4, list 2 is 3. So what do we want to do? We want to now do something to previous. We want to say previous is not going to equal 4, it's going to equal 3. Previous.next is going to equal 3. Previous is then going to equal list 2, and list 2 is going to equal 4. Okay. Now we want to check, is list 1 less than or equal to list 2? It is. They are equal values. So again, we're going to break this here and point this to list 1 previous.next is going to equal 4. Previous is going to increment to where list 1 is, and list 1 is going to move out of the range into null. Okay. And so now we break out of our while loop, right? Because we, we check while list 1 and list 2 are valid, only then are we going to move these pointers around. But as you can see, we do have a problem. Previous is not accounting for this last node here. Okay, We don't have that last node. So what we have to do is, after we break out of all of this, we need to check. If list1 is null, then whatever previous at is at, we need to have this pointer point to the rest of list2. Okay. Similarly, if list2 is null, then we can assume that previous will be where the end of list 2 is, and we need it to point at the rest of list 1. Okay, so those are two modifications that we need to make after we get out of the loop, is that if list 1 is null here, then we want to just go ahead and point previous to list 2, previous.next to list 2. Okay, and then because we saved the dummy in a variable, all we have to return is dummy.next. Okay, which will be this node right over here. And that'll be the new head. Okay. So let's think about time and space complexity. Well, how many times do we have to move through these nodes relative to the input. Okay, if the input size of list 1 is 3 and the uh, input size of list 2 is 30, how many times are we going to iterate over? How many times are we going to hit those nodes? Well, we're going to only hit them once, right? We're only doing one iteration over all the inputs. So our time complexity here is going to be O of n time. Now, what about space? Let's think about it. If our, if our list is 30, how much space do we have to create versus if our list is 3? If we have a list of 3 and 3, or we have a list of 30 and 30, how much space do we have to create? Well, let's take a look at all the space that we're creating. We're creating this dummy node, right? this previous pointer. And I believe that's it. List 1 and List 2 are coming into the input. Now, do we have to create any extra space if the list is 3 or 30? No, we don't. We're going to still create the same dummy node and the same 
previous node. Okay, so our space complexity here is constant. It's a constant amount of space relative to the input. Okay, so now let's go ahead and jump into the code. Now that we have an understanding of that, so we'll jump over here into merge two sorted list, uh, mute, merge two sorted lists. Okay, so what's the first thing we want to do? We want to go ahead and create our dummy node. And we can set this to new list node, and we'll set it to minus infinity. Okay. And now what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and create um, our previous pointer. So we can say let prev equal dummy. Okay. And the reason we want to create two of these is because we want a reference to this dummy because that's what we're going to return. At the end of all of this, we're going to return dummy.next. Okay. So now we want to create that while loop while L1 and L2 are true. What do we want to do? We want to check the values and say if L1.val is less than or equal to L2.val, what do we want to do? Well, here we can see we have our previous. We want to say previous.next is going to equal L1. Previous is going to move to L1 and L1 is going to increment over 1. Okay, so prev.next is going to point to L1. Prev is going to increment to L1. And then L1 is going to increment to its next. Okay, and else we want to do the same thing prev.next is going to equal L2. Prev is going to equal L2. And L2 is going to equal L2.next. Okay, we're going to break out of the loop. And we have one last thing to do. We just need to connect prev to the rest of L2 or the rest of L1, depending on whatever lands on null. So we can say if L1 is null, then prev.next is going to equal L2. We can say if L2 is null, then prev.next is going to equal L1. Okay? And then we return our dummy.next. So let's go ahead and run this. And yeah, so it's not too bad once you kind of once you kind of map all these pointers out and you remember to use this dummy node. It really makes life a million times easier. Anytime with linked lists when we're dealing with these problems, it's really important to keep track of these pointers and look for the patterns, right? This is a linked list problem that we are adding nodes we're switching around pointers, you know, we're creating a new list by adding nodes to it. And so anytime you're dealing with adding or removing nodes, you want to think of using a dummy point, like a dummy node that goes before the head. Okay. Um, and, and just making sure that everything goes in the correct order that we're moving the previous first, then we're, uh, we're, we're first we're setting previous dot next to L1. Then we're going and moving previous pointer, and then we're moving the L1 pointer. If we don't do it in that order, we're going to have bugs. Okay, so that is lead code number 21, merge two sorted lists. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.